Hey guys, welcome back to Geometry Dash. Today with a new mouse. Because today was my birthday. And by today, I mean yesterday for me because it's currently nearly 2 in the morning. So, gonna be essentially using the mouse today on this beautiful game, which uses the mouse a hell of a lot to practice. And so far, it feels pretty good. And if, like, you'll know all this if you've seen my Isaac video, but also I have a new keyboard, because yay, and he's a beautiful, amazing person. Everyone go subscribe to that beautiful person. The, just her generosity and her loveliness and ah, she's amazing. <laughs> but it's true. Yeah, so far the mouse seems pretty swish. Pretty damn swish. I'm enjoying it. I had a feeling I would, because, you know, keyboard takes a while to get used to. Keyboards, the buttons can be different places. One second. Wow, this is going well. Surprisingly well. Oh, that's progress. I count that as progress. I actually like tried to go for it rather than bottling it at the last second. First attempt. Oh, this mouse is my lucky charm. Oh, it's me lucky charms. But yeah, I might like I don't want to say this because I feel bad. But like it's my birthday, technically. But at the same time, it's not. But you know, like spent a while setting up new equipment and watch a DVD before the. Um, Isaac video, so it's very late. So I might like cut this episode short, or, like 50 attempts. Don't hate me. Like it's just so you know I can actually sleep and be able to stream tomorrow. As much as I'm gonna suck because keyboard. That was bad. Accidentally clicked. Completely on me. It's not even the mouse, it's just me pressing the button because I was like, hmm, maybe we're not gonna make it. I knew I was gonna make it. I knew I was, but my another part of my brain said, No you won't! You gotta do this thing. Which was a mistake. It was not good. But yeah. Um I'm probably gonna cut the episode short. But I'm probably gonna suck at Fortnite because uh new keyboard and have to get used to keyboard and will hopefully do better with said keyboard. <laughs> but yeah, I have to um, get used to things once again, which shouldn't be too bad. I'll get there. But you know, hassle, but it's fine. I will enjoy myself because the keyboard I got used to it um, for Isaac. I would say quickly, but I kept like putting my fingers down on the wrong buttons. Typing with it's okay. One second. I hate that. I hate how you can die there. I wasn't like hitting anything. I was going parallel to the wall. How could I die? It's so stupid. So stupid. That was just. Ugh, that was. That was bad. That was very bad. Yeah, like. Isaac, oh no, not, not Isaac, I mentioned Isaac. Typing is okay with it. Uh, I keep accidentally pressing caps lock when trying to press, like, S. Because on my old keyboard, caps lock, I think, was just smaller than it is on this keyboard. So my finger used to go further to the left. But now it doesn't have to, so I just keep accidentally pressing caps lock. So I'm going to be typing way slower to get used to it. And I'm completely fine with that, it's just kind of annoying, because, you know, like, I went through the exact same transition with my old keyboard, which I will keep for a rainy day. Same with the mouse, because they're both still functional, it's just, they're wireless, and the scroll wheel doesn't work. And now I have a scroll wheel that works, which is just, like, hell yeah, scroll wheel for days. It's making me very happy, because, you know... I can now actually have a scroll wheel, and I've actually got to get used to having a scroll wheel again, because I haven't had it for so long. But I had to get used to not having it, and now I have to get used to having it again, because I'm going to keep accidentally 
not accidentally, whenever there's like a scroll bar, I'm gonna instinctively just move my mouse over to there to do it with that, instead of using the scroll wheel. But we'll get that, we'll get that, don't you worry, don't you worry. Ow, that's what happens when you click, you click, you click too fast. I don't know where the gear came from when I was trying to say click. It's a bit odd. You know when you try and say click and you just go good It's not what I meant to do. But yeah, oh, I did the thing where I accidentally held the button. Apparently I'm still going to be doing that. Because that's not a mouse thing. So it's not going to change on this mouse. It's just I do it so fast that my finger doesn't have the time to come off of the thing. So it's more of a me thing with reflexes and blah, blah, blah. Well, well. Yeah, today's been fun. Went out to the city with Andy, saw a film, which actually came out today. Rampage. It probably came out earlier in America, but for us, it came out on my birthday. And I thought, hey, that looks alright. So we went to see that, and it was good. Um, I wouldn't have said it's a 12, personally. I would not have said it was a 12, but apparently it was. I, like, the like, films must just get off lightly here or something, because... I remember Deadpool was a 15, but in America that was an 18, and I was completely fine with being 15, but this was definitely, in my opinion, not a 12. Something surprised me, one second, I'll say it in a second, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Why do I always do that when I'm thinking of something? I always go off that one. I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid. But yeah, whenever, um... Something kind of scary happened. Like there's a lot of children in the film, in the film, in the cinema with us, with their parents that clearly bought them. And I was like, "You are clearly much younger than 12." And there was when there was a scary part. I was like, "How are these children not screaming?" Like I probably wouldn't have done as a child, but at the same time, like these children are the bravest things. Like admittedly, maybe they're like me as a child, where I'd just be watching Jaws and just be like, "Yay!" And then I just watch all I can, the jam, and I'd be fine with it. But the, these children, they had some balls, because there was literally no screams for the entire thing. It was nice. No one sitting in front of us with an afro. I have had that happen once this in mind. It wasn't great. Like luckily, I think they um, were hugging their girlfriend at the time, so they were sort of leaning to one side so I can still see, but like some of the screen was still blocked by the afro and it's like, ugh, why must you afro? That sucks. I need to like have a telescope and smush it through the afro so I can see the film. They should supply those in cinemas. Oh god. Oh, double god. That was not good. That was very not good. Very not good? Yes, why not? Why the hell not, mate? Why the hell not? Eh. Excuse me. But yeah, today has been a good day. The film I enjoyed, as much as I said it probably shouldn't have been a 12. I wonder what it is in other countries. Oh well. But yeah, it's good. I got some pop figures. I got some... Well, I got the keyboard and mouse, as I said. I got some monies. I got... Uh, some films, I mentioned that in the Isaac video, so I forgot to mention it. I got... What else did I get? I can't actually think of anything else. That was probably it. There may have been some other stuff. God damn it, I didn't even feel early that time. I don't know why I died. Well, I know why I died. I, I hit the wall, but... I don't know how it managed to get off that quickly, but oh well. Pardon me, excusez-moi. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know what. I don't know what my brain was saying. And then I just found it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, something else. Like my birthday started off amazingly by the fact that last night, technically on my birthday, at like one or two in the morning, my phone kind of died. And by that I mean like I think the backlight is gone. So now the thing where the screen is really dark, it's like that forever, which means it's. It's usable, 
But you know how... Oh, one second. I'm bad. Yeah, you know how on a TV, if you leave it on a still image for long enough, and then you come off of it, you'll still vaguely see the imprint of that. Well, basically, that's what happened to my phone. I accidentally once fell asleep and dropped my phone on the floor. And because I've turned it, like, the auto screen, lock screen thing off, because that would make streaming extremely difficult for chatting. Um... It hit the floor, made the backlight go off again, because that's normally what causes it, like, just it accidentally knocking on something it used to cause that, because my phone is pretty broken. But now it's just doing it all the time. But yeah, it do that, and it was just stuck on YouTube for ages, and that entire day, I've mentioned this before, it just had, like, the YouTube thing in the background. Yep, I went too early, and just bottled it. I didn't die from going early, it's just I didn't want to go that early, so I decided to let it go, like I was Elsa in Frozen. But yeah. Phone kaputs. None, well, not nonetheless, but you know. It's not very good for YouTube. If I leave it on Twitch chat while streaming, like, it's fully functional, it's just that part is annoying, and the fact that the power button is broken, so if you like, put pressure on the screen at the top, it'll just occasionally turn itself off. Or, it'll just bug out and just keep turning itself on and off for its own, like, happiness. So now I've gone back to my old phone, which is also broken and stuff, which is good. But it's better than the current one, for the reasons I need it for. I pulled up slightly, which got me really close to that saw blade, so there's no way out of that. My bad. My bad. But yeah. My now current phone. At first, when it died, like the sound just stopped for some reason, and then it wouldn't charge. Which was pretty bad. And I left it for ages and just plugged it in to see if it would work. And it actually did work. It doesn't work properly, like, charging is a massive pain, it doesn't hold charge very long, like, today, I didn't take my other phone, like, I put the, uh, that phone on charge last night at about 2am, woke up at about half nine-ish, so that's like, eight hours, that was, that was, that was bad, that was really bad, so yeah, that's eight hours, and it got to, f like, 35, 40% charge. Yeah, it's not very good at charging, is this phone. It took me like half an hour to get it to go off of the I'm off now to the, like, yeah, I'm turning on now, like where the Apple symbol comes up. It took about half an hour for that to happen. It's just not good. It's just not good. It works, but it's just not good. And also my mum broke it when, like not when we first got it, but after a while of having it, she kind of busted it. It, like, she broke in a computery way, like, she has an older iPhone, and she put, like, her phone's safe stuff on the computer and then put it onto mine, and then all her contacts and stuff went onto my phone, whenever I would, like, call her, it would start calling my own phone, it was weird. That was bad. Yeah, we got to the conclusion that my phone thought it was her phone. Like, if I called her, it would think it was my phone and start calling my phone. It didn't change SIM cards over, so I still had different SIM cards, so there's no way I should have been calling her, or calling me, but it was calling me. And you just could talk into it and just hear the echo coming out of the same phone. It was pretty bad. It's still the same. And it kind of sucks. So my phone is now... I'm even going to have one that I can't really see much on and will just turn itself off whenever it feels like it. Or one that can barely charge, can't use it for phone related reasons, but other stuff can work. I'm just hoping the charging gets better, because it, like, like I said, it, at first it wouldn't charge at all. Now it starts to charge, but it's a temperamental thing. I'm just hoping it starts to charge properly so I can use it for Twitch tomorrow, otherwise I'm going to have to resort to something else. Which, you know, 
sort of test driving it tonight. Like, it, I started charging it before I went back to Andy's today, and when I got back, it was still charging, which was amazing. It got on up to like nearly 100%, so it can charge better. Smooth. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh! Oh, I was unaware of what I had to do. It went so fast. We made it, though. Wow. I said in the last episode, I believe, I don't think we're going to make it past that bit for, like, the next few episodes. We just did it, and we got 3% because it sped up, meaning it goes faster to the end, which is actually kind of good. Because it's technically shortening the section. The slower you're going, the longer you have to endure the section. But the faster it is, once you get it down, you got it down. What I think I had to do there is jump off the thing that I did, hit the thing in midair, bounce off of the floor, and then couldn't see what was next because it was off screen. We'll find out, because it didn't have an X on it, so I'm pretty sure that's what you got to do. That was just beautiful! I like it! Let's do this. Okay, that is what you do. Got it. Oh, we did it twice in a row. Oh, it feels good, man. It feels good. It feels good. This is going so well. I'm going to thank the mouse and birthday luck. And be on my way. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. No. But yeah, this is going well. One of the best parts of my birthday, I gotta admit. This is sarcasm. Uh, well, it's kind of sarcasm. It's semi-sarcasm. Like, I had a cupcake with a candle in it. A chocolate cupcake, no less. It was beautiful. One of the worst birthday experiences I've had is once... Oh, one second. I'll say it afterwards. Look forward to the story. Okay, you know sometimes you get those funny but kind of sad at the same time moments in life. I had one of those on my birthday once, where I went to McDonald's and asked the lady sarcastically, Hey, can I have a balloon? Since it was my birthday. One second. It didn't jump. God damn it. Yeah, I asked the lady who was walking around with balloons, Hey, can I have a balloon? And she looked at me with just an annoyed face. Like, you could tell she hated her job and just said, No and walked off. And I was like, but it's my birthday! <laughs> Admittedly, I was like, 14, so I said it kind of sarcastically, but just the way she said it just felt so rude. Like, your job is to go around giving balloons to people. I ask for a balloon, it is my birthday, you look at me with just an annoyed face. The face of, I hate my job, I'm just here to get paid, go home. There is a thing currently covering half of my screen. This is not going to go well for me. Stupid antivirus thing that's just annoying. Like, sure, I haven't renewed you, but go away. I can't see. Like, I can see most of the screen. It's just the bottom right, I can't. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Get out of it, you stupid thing. Now I'm going to quickly check that didn't mess up OBS. It did mess up OBS, because when I started the recording... Well, not when I started, but before I started, I made sure that um, Geometry Dash was having a good time, and it, once again, it had like just enlarged itself a ridiculous amount and was covering a lot of. Well, I could only see like the top right of, or top left even of the Geometry Dash tab because Geometry Dash work well with OBS. It do very well. Maybe it's because I haven't updated OBS, but that's because I don't want it to just break. 
I remember it took me ages to get OBS to work, could change settings around to finally get to record stuff properly and sound and blah -de blah so I just don't want to update and have it reset it because of an update bug or something. I'm like, OBS works fine as is. It's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I'm happy. Yay. Yeah, maybe I will use some of my birthday moolah. Like, I had to give some of it away because I owed some people some monies. Don't worry, it wasn't bad people. But still, I owed a little bit of money to people, so I've got rid of some of it there. And... Maybe I should try and think about the new power supply, because the computer died earlier again. Because reasons of computers. Just expect it to die in stream. Just gonna say it now. That was so bad. So bad. Yeah, expect it to die in the stream. It dies all the time now. It's never died twice in one night. But I wouldn't be surprised if it did, because it died earlier just while watching a video after I recorded Isaac. So I just wanted to chill for a bit. That was really bad. And yesterday it died, I think, very, very shortly after I turned it on. Like, I turned it on, turned a few things on. Like, I went Google, tried to get OBS up, Isaac, Steam, it was just turning itself on because what it does. And the computer died probably after like under five minutes. It's not good. It's like, when my phone's kaput, this one doesn't work properly. My computer needs fixing. It's like the world. Oh, I accidentally held the button. Yeah, it's like the world knows it's my birthday. It's like, you have money, now pay for these things. But I need to save money for buying other people gifts when it, the time comes around. That's what saving is, man. Otherwise, I will feel... I will I feel. No, I will feel eternal guilt. Like, hey, sorry, I can't get you a thing because my computer's being a butthole. Like, the computer's not a huge problem. It's, it's like, super irritating. Don't get me wrong. Super freaking irritating. But it works. Somewhat. It's just, like, occasionally it does it. It's never done it twice in a night, as I've said, but it is getting progressively worse. I haven't had you a very long computer, like, I haven't even had you a year yet, since I looked at my videos. Wow, that was really bad. Yeah, I looked at my videos to see exactly when my year anniversary of YouTube is, and I'm pretty sure it's on, like, from the first video I ever uploaded, it's the 18th of April. Back when I had my old computer, because I remember I couldn't get, well, that was bad, I couldn't get my computer for my birthday, but I got it, like, a month after. But it was it was a birthday and like I think it was part birthday part Christmas present, and I couldn't get it for my birthday because shipping and blah blah blah. Wow, that was real bad. Yeah, like manufacturing, building, and computers and blah blah blah. But otherwise, it's good. But yeah, it's just that part. It's a little dusty. I should probably get some of that dust out of there at some point. But, you know, dust isn't that hard to get rid of. Just, like, little air canister, tss, tss, get it out of there. Shouldn't be too bad. And, like, the amount of dust that's accumulated in the bottom of the computer, that's extremely easy to get rid of. Just a quick brush. Since, you know, as I said, my the case for this computer is ridiculously big what's actually in there but it was the cheap one so I went for that I didn't mean to hold the button long enough so yeah not much has actually settled on components it's just mostly on the bottom of the computer so you'll just see like random clumps of just dust and fuzz luckily I don't have any kittens in my room so you know no hair and also I mentioned in the Isaac video that one of the kittens had magically vanished and I couldn't find it anywhere it's back no idea where it came from, but I went downstairs after recording Isaac, and it's back. <laughs> Magic kitten. That was kind of embarrassing. Okay, 11 more attempts because of the shortened episode. I once again apologise. We've made progress, so I'm not even going to feel that guilty. Plus, it's my birthday, even though it was yesterday. But still, birthday, so I can't feel guilt. But yeah, it's been a good day. And it was quite funny, because me and Andy had 
McDonald's for lunch. Ouch. And... Like, we've got the Monopoly event on right now. I don't know if you have it in America. I assume you would. If you don't, it's basically where Monopoly comes from. Don't. If you've never played Monopoly, it's basically a game with stuff. Look it up. It's extremely hard to explain. It's one of those games that has like a million rules and stuff to it. And I never knew how to play it until probably only a few years ago because we never actually had it. But yeah, like basically your food, different items will have stickers on. And then you peel them off. And if the other side of the sticker has like corresponding things like Park Lane and Mayfair, you win like lots of money. Like last year, a few years ago, it was like you win £100,000. Now I think it's 25000 One second. God damn, I've been doing that a lot. I've been trying to get... Well, that's impressive. I've been trying to get like really high up so I can get down this smoothly, but it's not working out for me because I'm going a little bit too high up, which is my bad. But yeah. Uh, last year and the year before, I think it was a hundred thousand pounds if you get these two, and I think there's only four to win, and there's and that's for Mayfair. The other Park Lane is super easy to get. Sometimes you'll get like free wins, and they'll be like, yeah, you peel a sticker off, and you can have like a free apple pie or a free like medium fries or milkshake or something. It's pretty good, especially when like we've had it before where some of the things you get for free can actually have stickers on, and then you win another free thing. So, from one thing you buy, you get a sticker that gives you a free thing, and then from the free thing, you get another free thing. It's kind of ridiculous. Slightly too high. I was going to ditch it there and let it go down, but... Oh, well. It's alright, it's alright, innit? Yeah, I think we can beat this level extremely soon. Like, episode after next, maybe, if we're lucky. Probably the one after that, is my guess. So, three episodes from now, which will be about 23 episodes, I think. So, pretty much exactly the same as Club Step. So, apparently, I have reached the limit of my skill in this game. And the only way I can get better is to just learn stuff consistently. That's the only way that anything is happening in this game right now. Everything else, apparently it just takes the same amount of episodes on this sort of difficulty of a level. But, oh, that was very close. But, um, everything I just need to be more consistent at. I need to just learn how to be more consistent faster. That's the only way I can improve. Okay. That was bad. That was real bad. But yeah, what I was saying about the McDonald's Monopoly event. Uh, Andy got a free McFlurry. Or, like, usually they have two options. Like, a McFlurry or a fruit bag, I think is one of them. It's like the opposite of one another. One is if you feel healthy. And the other one is if you are having a cheat day. Essentially. But yeah, like, people don't seem to understand what the Monopoly event is. Because, like, the amount of people that didn't peel off their stickers was ridiculous. Like, it was so sad, because we were going to peel off some stickers for, off of people's um, meals that they just left, but then, like, one of the staff came along and just took it and binned it, because, you know, they're trying to put away the rubbish and stuff, which is kind of sad. Oh, that was so close. I really wish that would have survived. It would have felt so good just to perfectly curl around that. God damn it. But yeah, didn't get those ones, sadly, because they were in the bin at that point. But someone else left it. We got there before the staff got there, and Andy got a free um, apple pie off of just someone else's stickers that they left behind. Because people just don't care about stickers, or they just don't understand that it's there, even though there's massive signs and a giant Monopoly man, it's like, yes, Monopoly! Yeah, we got a free apple pie. I'm always in it for like the free uh, medium soft drinks, or like chicken nuggets or something, 
because they're delicious. Sadly, on the food I get, they just don't have stickers apart from on the drink and fries. My actual meal, it doesn't because it's not classed as a meal. I went under it again, oops. Yeah, it's not classed as a meal, it's classed as something that just people share, so, you know, you can't really share a win unless it's something that you can share. But some things, you know, you just can't, like a um, McFlurry or an ice cream cone, you can't share those. You can't. Like, if you try, people will just be ravenous beasts and just froth up at the mouth. And you're not going to get out of there alive, basically. It's not going to go well for you. By the way, this is a joke on how people will act around sweet foods that they like very much. It was not meant in a literal sense. Okay, one second. We can do this. Freaking smooth, mate. Oh, I gave it one extra tap to get through. God damn, that should have been progress. God damn it. I made one tiny mistake. But we've made it through that bit a lot. It's way more consistent than I thought it was going to be. But... Like, at the same time, I kind of knew it would be like that, because that's what happened in Club Step. There was a bit that I struggled with, got there enough times while playing the level properly, and just did it over and over. So, yay. Like, the reason it's not so bad is I just need to give it a gentle tap to get in to the section, then hold the button and it goes down smoothly. Okay, final attempt, because the last one was really bad. And this is number 50. I could keep going, but, you know, we're already past half an hour, so we're definitely going to get to an hour, meaning it's almost going to be another 30 minutes, and I'm not going to look at the time to see how long that'll be or how late that'll be. I'm going to say about three. Oh, every time I die like that. God damn it. But 84%. I'm happy about it. I'm really happy about it. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you're still enjoying the series, because I know I am. I'll see you guys next time. See ya!